Yeah, for um, Amaleba, the way he's up, up in, look, you, you, you witness what transpired yesterday. By order of procedure, you do a recall of the speaker's press conference. You could see that he was amenable, amenable to acknowledge the ruling of the courts. I was thinking, and you listen, you listen to a number of um, uh, uh, people within the domain, and they say because there was a proceeding where an action was taken or a pronouncement was made, there needed to be proceedings yesterday started and then the actions of the previous time reversed. But that was not undertaken. But then on the other side, Afenyo Makin and the MPP Koko say the speaker should have acknowledged that this is the ruling of the Supreme Court in the ongoing case. What do you say to that? So let me wish you yourself a good morning. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Thank you. I'm I... hot. The way everybody is banging uh, the you table. Need, you need, you need... is, is blasting me. Amaliba is also blasting you need, me. You need, you need ice. <laughs> <laughs> wish my Liverpool friend here. Mm. <laughs> you what? My Liverpool. Liverpool friend. Are you a Liverpool supporter? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> a good morning. My own big brother, a good morning. My senior, my senior needs a lot of water. My <laughs> senior, calm down. What? Uh, uh, you see? I think the starting point mm -hmm. for this discussion mm -hmm. is to acknowledge mm -hmm. that there has been a fundamental lack of integrity. A fundamental lack of There has been a fundamental, fundamental lack, lack of, of integrity. integrity. Where yeah, and yeah, why? A fundamental lack of integrity shown by the by the by the by the MPs. Yeah. As in the four MPs. And that's the reason we are where we are, not because of anything the speaker has done, contrary to what my big brother Alaji is is saying because no. you see if you read article 97 1g i think it's clear and you see that order article 97 1g you see the 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 terms of that order is not to you it's not to me it's not to amaliba mm. it's not to the speaker it's to an mp it's to the member you, 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 you understand and, it's, and 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 the 97 1g is asking them the way you change your party, it's clear. I, I, I don't know. You didn't say a future member of parliament. No, it's, it's a current no, member it's, of parliament. It's, it's clear. You understand? Okay. Now, they've shown a fundamental lack of integrity by not living. So I think that should be the starting point. And that's the reason we are where we are. Because have resigned from parliament. No. The, please read it for me. Article 97 1G. A member of parliament shall vacate his seat in parliament if he leaves the party of which he was a member at the time of his election to parliament to join another party or seeks to remain in parliament as an independent member yes and yes, seeks and, 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 yeah. yes, so the the that clause article is directed at the mp yes and so what this article explains that where you flout any of these things you yourself should vacate Automatic. Oh. Yeah, automatic. But yesterday I saw Cynthia Morris in there. Oh. And that's what I'm saying. There's a fundamental lack of integrity. Now, too, and that's just to correct the statement my Liverpool big brother here said. That the reason we are where we are is because of... And NPP, NPP brotherhood. Oh, no, I'm not NPP. I I, no, you no. were. <laughs> I was, but I'm not... <laughs> 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 you understand? You said he has left the Oh, I've left, I've left. By virtue of an article in their constitution, that's what I say there's a fundamental lack of integrity. Also from the MPP. Because from their constitution, it says that if you put yourself up for election... You mean your former party's constitution? Listen, <laughs> you stop referring to former, former, former. <laughs> Look forward. <laughs> I keep <laughs> calling me a former MP, so it's okay for you to call no, me you a former MP. Uh, look forward. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm no longer there. You understand? They are constitution that, that is clear. That if you put yourself up against a candidate that their party has sponsored, then automatically... You have forfeited your membership automatically. Automatic. You don't need the MPP to write any letter mm -hmm. to you, contrary to the argument. They you've already to. left the party. Ah, you've left. So you shouldn't be representing them. And and you see, they, they keep on saying that, mm. in spite of that clause, mm, you need a letter from their national council before you be deemed to have left or not. That's the argument they're making, and and that's the reason why okay. they, they 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 claim what the speaker did was was it was wrong. Also, what was the basis of what the speaker did? You understand? What was the basis for what the, 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 the speaker did? 
the, uh, the speaker paid their own standing orders. Standing orders which were promulgated based on the constitution of Ghana. Because the constitution taxed parliament to enact uh, uh, what's called orders which will govern their own processes. You, 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 you understand? So when the speaker was acting, he was acting based on their standing order. Thirdly, I think we cannot have a debate on that. The constitution is supreme. There's absolutely no debate about, about that. But can you make an argument that because the constitution is supreme, then the Supreme Court is supreme? Because to say that is to make an argument which will be adverse to the purpose of our constitution. Really? Because the purpose of our constitution is to limit powers of government. It's not just the powers of the executive which mm. are limited. Mm. It's not just the powers of the legislature which are limited. Mm. But also the powers of the Supreme Court, of the judiciary, are also limited by the constitution mm. itself mm. and by their own processes. Because we need to understand that the essence of the system of government we choose upon ourselves is to guarantee us the rule of law. The rule of law. And one of the abiding principles of the rule of law is the certainty of the law. You understand? So, we all know that the Supreme Court keeps on saying that they are not even bound by their own procedure. But by reason of the rule of law, mm -hmm. the Supreme Court should not be seen to be flip-flopping and today because you can do so today A, same facts. Today you say A, tomorrow you, you will say B. You, 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 you understand? Because we know how the Supreme Court handled the case of Judge Equation, mm -hmm. where an injunction application was brought before it, before the main matter itself was held, the interpretation issue was held. And how the Supreme Court injuncted Judge Equation from representing his constituents until until the final determination and yet the supreme court was quick and, and, and no but you see not until the argument they made the argument they made in in staying was so that people's Ghanaians in, in those four constituencies will be without representation but that was the principle in this one so where was that principle in the judge question one and so we say that rule of law certainty of the law but I don't understand. Are you accusing the Supreme Court of double standards? No. What I'm saying is that I disagree with their decision. But having said that, you cannot also say that because you are the, you disagree with the decision of the court, you are not going to abide by by sin. And that's why the court itself has ways in which you can challenge their own decision. They have review ju ju jurisdiction. They have appellate jurisdiction and all. And nothing the 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 speaker has done suggests to me. That he intends or he is disobeying the orders of. But that's what the MPP is saying. And, and that's that what I'm saying. That's, my, that's, that's what they are saying. But I'm saying that nothing he has done suggests to me that he is disobeying the orders of, oh, the, right. of, the, of, the, of the Supreme Court. Because at the end of the day, the MPP MPs mm, confirming how I see them as being people who do not have any loyalty, any fidelity any commitment to the purpose and reason for which we granted them the powers we granted them. You yeah, understand? Yeah, 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 because they are not representing themselves. They are not representing their political parties. They are representing the people of Ghana. You yeah, understand? Yeah, 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 and so it's not an excuse to say that because you anticipate that there will be some confusion as to where you sit, you, 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 you derelict your obligation to the people of this country. Yeah, yeah, you understand. And 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 and, and, and then have the cockroach audacity to turn around and accuse the speaker of what? Cockroach audacity? The temerity, the cockroach audacity. You want me to add more adjectives? Mm -hmm. <coughs> cockroach audacity? You want me to add more adjectives? I find your adjective. Pagnacious audacity. Pagnacious. Pagnacious Pagnacious. This one is actually more than English. Uh, uh, when the person people you want to copy, I don't have you want to copy. Please wrap up for me. Yeah, 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 you understand. <laughs> you see, I, 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 I'm, I'm very disappointed, and I've said it and I'll say it here. If our politicians don't take care, mm. if the people of Ghana do not rise up and become interested and participate in this uh, democracy, these people, eh, especially the people from the MPP side, who in their communication tell me that they have no commitment to the, to the rule of law? Because they keep on saying 
uh, uh, the Tolon MPO to sit on his file, uh, they, they, they make those arguments. That in spite of the clear terms of their constitution, mm. their National Council reserves the right to arbitrary, you understand, apply the, their, their constitution in a manner different from the intent of the, of the mm. constitution. Because if, if your constitution is saying that, should you contest against anybody, the party is mm. sponsoring, mm. automatically you lose your candidate, your membership. And that's not the National Council is the right. They mean that they themselves do not have no respect for the rule of law. You, 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 you understand? Mm. You understand? Also, after the speaker's speech on Wednesday, a speech whose focus to refocus the MPs, the politicians, to their commitment to the purpose for this constitutional democracy we took upon ourselves. Indeed, he made reference to the oath of allegiance they took. One, to be faithful to Ghana, to, to protect, preserve, and defend the constitution. You understand? Now, now when the constitution says that you, you take an oath to preserve, defend, and protect the constitution of Ghana, in that sense, what you are saying is that you are going to defend, protect, and defend the purpose of the constitution of Ghana, which is to protect our lives, our liberties, and our right to pursue our own happiness. And a recognition that the only way we can do that is to create a system of governance mm. that can guarantee us the rule of law. You, 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 you understand? And after... After my view, a statement that was supposed to calm tempest, you understand, remind you of the oath you took, remind you of your obligations to Ghana and to the constitution, the MPP MPs go and play coliko like children. They go and play coliko like children. What they did was playing coliko like children, like in Kola, like children, rowdy, rudy children. You understand? See, the people of, on 7th December, we are going to. to, uh, to, uh, to make a decision you think this will influence voters it should because i'm saying that the How? way they are behaving they accuse the speaker they accuse what so you are you happy with what is happening are, are you not a Ghanaian? oh mama, you, you, are, you are you are you are my you are my allergy 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 tomorrow allergy 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 you see, if they if they care about Ghana, they'll do what my senior here is is suggesting. Is, 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 and they are lawyers. They are, I think back it was Magina one year. They are senior lawyers. Go to parliament. Quietly sit where let's say the NDC vote because they've gone for earlier um, and then raise an issue on the floor of parliament. And then by order of procedure. Yeah, raise an issue that my lord, based on the decision of the Supreme Court with we think A B C D. In fact, you you will even be placing the ball in the in the speaker's court. So based on what the speaker does, then you can make those allegations. So you're saying the speaker was waiting for that? Exactly. The, 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 the speaker gave a speech on Wednesday, a fantastic speech, a speech which, in my opinion, edges edges his name in gold. When his when posterity is looking back to all this nonsense that our generation we are doing, he, the speaker's name will mention as the few people who had the courage to stand for democracy. For the rule of law, it's, in fact, of that, that fantastic speech he made, which should have calmed tempest, which should have refocused and caused them to recommit themselves to the rule of law, to the constitution. They instead did the Coleco game they did, which for me has cemented that belief that if we allow these people, then people will cause they'll, 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 they'll change our democracy into a catastrophe. The people of Ghana need to wake up. I don't understand why you keep using Coleco, Coleco. Ah, it's Coleco, it's not Coleco. Cheche Kule and all. Uh, 